guest this evening is McFly's Danny Jones. I think you started a little bit weak. You were nervous. What Rolando said was spot on. I think I did start off a bit nervy. Yeah, it was a rocky start, but by the end, you were the Playboy Duke of Mantua. <laughs> I'm really surprised how much he was like acting and getting into his role. It's absolutely brilliant. His performance was so entertaining, and I really enjoyed watching him. I just wish he hadn't grabbed his crotch at the end. It's so unnecessary. This week, Danny faces a completely different challenge. It's a very, very passionate and emotional love song. I fell in love with it as soon as I heard it. This is a beautiful but tragic song about the great tenor Enrico Caruso. This song allows me to show I can do a serious song and connect with the audience in an emotional way instead of a funny personality way. I think the trickiest part is the Italian. Me being a bolter note, I can't get my tongue around stuff most of the time, especially Italian. Un uomo braccia. Un mo. Un mo a braccia. Un uomo a braccia. Un uomo a braccia. Un uomo a braccia. Un uomo a braccia. After his crash course in Italian, Danny still can't get the phrase right. Un uomo a braccia. 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 To get it right. I'm going to be singing um, Italian on Friday. Oh, good. And uh, maybe you could like help me. I love the song that much that I want to get it perfect. Sulla vecchia terrazza davanti al golfo di Sorrento. sul golfo di Sorrento. I've got to think I'm Italian and, and bring some Bolton Italian into it. Salute, tutto a posto. It's over. <laughs> Do you feel that there was any Bolton Italian in there? I don't know. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe a little we, bit in there. You were talking in rehearsals as we were having a little chat, and you said it's a very emotional song. Oh, yeah. How do you feel, I mean, including this in your McFly repertoire? <laughs> well, I nearly cried just doing that. It was, especially when Mum sat in front of me. There's one. Oh, Mum's sobbing already. She's sobbing. Mum's sobbing. OK, let's find out. Panel, did it make you sob? Alan? Rolando, I, I've not seen you more excited. I found that enormously moving. He really contained that, I thought. Beautiful well, song. I, I have to say that, that Danny worked very hard to, you know, go away from that Duc de Mantua 
to really concentrate the performance. And one more thing, this was a dangerous piece for him because he could bring the pop sound into it and he really, really kept that operatic voice. I'm very proud of your performance. Lawrence, you're loving your approval. I, I thought that was an incredibly mature performance and it, absolutely, as Rolanda says, it would have been so easy for Pop Danny to come out and play, and you kept him way back. It was all about opera, and I thought it was fabulous. Absolutely Thank brilliant. Thank you very much. Danny. Danny, Danny, I applaud you, son. I applaud you. You were there every moment. That was a love song, and I believed every moment that you Catherine, sang. Could you, could you have fallen in love with him doing that? One word, swoon. Oh! oh. Really well done. Thank you, panel. Thank you. Swoon, eh? Swoon. <laughs> well, if you were moved or feel like swooning uh, by Danny's performance there and thought it was very similar, then move over to the phone and vote for him when lines open later on in the show. Ladies, gentlemen, Danny Jones. Thank you very Detroit, Marcella's Detroit, to be precise. And she's definitely getting butterflies about this one.